definitely a difference between uh, recreational water polo and the international level. A lot dirtier. Uh, you're trying to get away with as much as possible. And uh, it's a war and I'm a defender. I'm the one who's checking the center. And it's, it's really a fine art of looking as calm as possible above the water, but being as dirty as possible and getting away with as much as possible under the water. There's a lot of like grabbing and pulling arms, trying to get leverage, trying to get good positioning. And that's kind of all where it happens. So like speed and positioning, that's one thing, but being able to grab and throw a guy off his balance, kind of kind of like wrestling, but in the water. One hand grabbing and the other hand kind of catching the ball or being out of the water is fair play, but if you start wrestling with two hands, that's where you're kind of pushing the barrier. Other than the wrists, there's not much you can grab because we're only wearing Speedos, so you know, getting a handful of the guy's bathing suit on the side of his hip and pulling his hips out of the way, getting him off that balance so you can make a move inside is pretty common. And I've had uh, three fractures in my hand. If you get your hand stuck in the suit or a guy start fiddling around with your fingers, you can break that hand and you're out for a month or so, especially in a, a handball sport like water polo. If your kneecaps or knee to elbow or any two joints hit together underwater when you're treading water that fast, that hard, it really, really hurts. The Pan Am Games in Toronto, it's going to be a real, uh, real battle. If we're playing a team like USA, Brazil, expect some punches, expect some hits, expect some grabs. Is anything that will give you that little competitive advantage.